So Wallabies open their rugby championship campaign versus the Springboks in Brisbane at sunny Suncorp. Oh, man, it's going to be, that's going to be huge. I can't wait for it. Um, and this is what I think Wallabies starting 15 is going to look like. As always, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who have I left out? Who haven't I? Do I know anything about rugby? Hit that subscribe while you're there and let's, let's get into it. A lot of excitement around this Wallaby squad and rightly so. Um, I love this squad. I said it in the squad announcement video that I did earlier this week. Love the, the inclusions brought in, how Joe Schmidt is just picking guys based of form and solely of form. Best guys in, get them in. Love, love it. Now, for the my predicted side, remember Liam Wright's injured, Fraser McRide injured, uh, Charlie Kale not included in the squad, uh, guys like Darby Lancaster's not in. There's a few guys not in the squad. So just keep that in mind. But here's my team. Let me know what you guys think. We're going to get into it. So my predicted, or my Wallabies predicted starting 15 versus Springboks. First round of the Rugby Championship. Here it is. So up front, we've got James Slipper, Matty Fesler, and Alan Alatoa. In the locks, Jeremy Williams, Lukan Salakai Lotu. In the back row is Tom Hooper, Rob Valentini, Harry Wilson. Nine and ten, we've got Jake Gordon and Noah Lolasio. In the centres, Hunter Paisami and Len Ikitao. The back three of Marika Korobeti, Filippo Dongunu. And Tom Wright. On the bench, I've got Billy Pollard, Taniela Tupo, Isaac Kalia, Seru Uru, Carlo Tizano, Tate McDermott, Ben Donaldson, and Andrew Kellaway. Exciting. Exciting. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Who should I have started? Who shouldn't I have started? Who would you start? Let me know. I want to I wanna hear from you. I want to hear from, yeah, from you. <laughs> All right, let's get into reasoning behind it. You don't just pick a team. There's reasons why you pick a team, okay? I, again, I'm not always, if you're new here, I'm not here for stats and stuff like, yes, stats and that are good, but I'm not about stats, mate. I'm all about feel and vibe and work rate and what you're doing on the field. Let's keep that in mind. So front row, we got Alan Alatoa, James Slipper, and Matty Fesler. Mainly gone with Alatoa and Slipper for their scrummaging. Um, yes, you can. There's an argument to be made for Tanila Tupo to go in there to start. But I really want Tupo to come off the bench and add that huge impact to match the Springboks bomb squad when they come on. I guess you can talk about teams having a bomb squad and if you think it's fair or it's not fair, it's going to happen. It is fair. It is legal. Springboks are going to do it. How can you match it? And it's also not about, yes, looking too much over the hedge to see what the other team's doing. You know that's going to happen. And you have to, with the spring box, I feel like you've got to fight fire with fire. There's no trying to hide away from the physical stuff and what they bring to the game. You have to try and match it. So I feel like that's the reasoning why I've got Tupo on the bench. So when that cha those changes do happen, you can bring Daniela Tupo on and he can try and match that because he's when he's fresh... He's tough to stop, man. He's tough. He's a strong scrummager as well. Good with ball in hand, um, and I think he'll be he'll be re well suited to come on um, later on in the game when there's a few tired bo bodies around. But when the Springboks bring on their new their fresh pair of legs, go check, mate. Try that. That's my reasoning there. Matty Fez, that thought has been great all Super Rugby season. Accurate with his lineout throws. Lethal off the back of the mall. Um, and he does bring that extra little bit around the park as well. Strong with ball in hand. So he goes in there for me. For the locks, I've got Salakai Lotu and Jeremy Williams. Both in great form all year for their clubs. Both big boys as well. This is going to be physical. It's going to be tough. It's going to be strong. It's going to be physical. You want to match that. You want to bring the physicality as well. Yes, the Springboks are going to bring it, bring it, but you need to bring it as well. And I think that's why you have these guys in. I think Salakai Lotu brings that, yes, good in the lineouts, strong with ball carry, strong defensively as well. And what Jeremy, Jeremy Williams brings is 
almost that extra back rower. The amount of work he gets through, if you're a nerd like I am, watch. Just watch one person during, let's say, pick 20 minutes of the game and just watch Jeremy Williams, how much work he gets through. When there's line breaks, he's always there. Go look in the um, Wales games and the Georgia games. When there was big line break tries, Jeremy Williams was the first one there to celebrate the try scorer, to celebrate with the try scorer. Means he's backing up all the time. He's getting around the park. He's good in his line outs. And just the donkey work, man. That's old school Wallabies forwards. Jeremy Williams. He's got that flavor about him. And um, it's been great to see him. That transition from Waratahs, go to Western Force. A lot of, like a lot of Waratahs players have done. And he's just gone out there and. His game has gone to another level. Been picked as captain out there. Shows he's got that leadership within him as well, those characteristics. And then off the back of a great Super Rugby season, gets picked for the Wallabies and has done really well every opportunity he got. And now is his big time to shine. So I can't wait for the matchup. Again, this is a predicted side, so I'm not sure if he's going to get picked to, uh, to start, but I would, I would pick him to start, man. Get him in there. So back row, I've gone Tom Hooper, Rob Valentini, and Harry Wilson. So the Tom Hooper, so the for me, the Valentini and Wilson, I think that's a that's a shoe in because Liam Wright and Fraser McWright aren't there. Valentini would still be in regardless, but because McWright and Wilson aren't there, I'm kind of playing with this, but I think Wilson will be starting. So Wilson and Valentini bring that. Tough, again, tough, physical, love the physical stuff, love the ball carries, love the defense. They, um, it's almost like their faces lighten up when these things get tough and get hard and get physical, and that's what it's going to be like versus the Springboks. Why I've picked Tom Hooper, big, big body. He's, big, he's good in the lineouts as well. Springboks have always had a good lineout. But they've also got their, issue, their own issues around lo- the locks and uh, their line-out problems. The island caught them out a bit in line with the line-outs. And I think Australia can target their line-outs. They've got Salakai Lotto, who's huge, he's tall. Um, Jeremy Williams, also a big boy. Tom Hooper gives another option at the line-outs. So I think that's why they go with that. And then you have guys like Carlo Tizano or even... Um, Lukey Reimer to come off the bench to to kind of impact those like slowing the ball down at rucks and um, being a pest around ruck time defensively as well. Um, then I go nine and ten, Jakey Gordon and Noah Lola Sio, both outstanding form and grow really growing into their roles at test level. Very very good for Wallabies versus Wales. Um, very important for them will be their kicking execution. How they've brought in the new style of kicking the box kicks. So Jake Gordon to nail that. And then Lola Sio, been great all year for the Brumbies. He just needs to carry on with that. Kicking out of hand, kicking out off the tee um, and directing the team around the park. My centers, Hunter Paisami and Len Ikitao. My guys, man, it's happening. It's going to happen. Let's Go. I called it early in this in the season, the super season. Um, these guys need to play together. They have before, but they need to come back together. Strong on both sides of the ball. Um, you know what they bring defensively, but it's on attack. It's what I'm more looking at. And I can see them going one-on-one, matching, really matching um, spring box centers in Damien Dallin and Jesse Creel. And I could even see Paisami or Ikitao getting the better of them one on one on a couple occasions. They really they got that nice little X factor about them. Hunter Baisami's brought that distribution um, play into his game as well. And then Iki Tao, you just you never know, man. He could step you, could run over the top of you, hand you off, whatever. Would love to see this happen. Back three, I've gone with Korobeti, Dalgunu, and Wright. Gone for size here yeah? as with the Springboks team, you've got guys like Cheson Colby and Kurtley Orange say yes. Fast, elusive, one-on-one, very hard to stop, but a lot smaller. So if, I think if Dangunu and Korobeti can get one-on-one with them and really like to just take it to them, um, it can see, it could, it could get, it'd be difficult to stop. To be honest, it'd be difficult to stop. Um, then with Wright, Tom Wright picks himself, man. He's been fantastic, knowing he's, he's 
his growth in his game, knowing how he wants to play, when to attack, when to kick, when to just hit it up. Um, he's been in sensational form this season at international level and for the Brumbies. He's been really good. He just needs to carry on with that. And then my bench, I was tempted for the 6-2 split to kind of match the Springboks because they're probably going to go with a 6-2 split. But I've kept it 5-3 forwards to kind of be subbed on when the, the bomb squad do. I've picked someone like Seru Uru because he can cover lock, he can cover the back row. I've picked Tizano um, because of his, man, what he brings, just that dog, that high work rate, lots of tackles, hitting rocks, slowing the ball down. You could see someone like Luki Reimer instead of him, but I've gone with Tizano. He's got that similar mold to Kwaha, Kwaha Smith of the Springboks. Donaldson covers 10 and 15. Tate McDermott obviously covers, covers nine. And then Kellaway for me covers almost outside center and then winger and fullback. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, have I lost my marbles? Do I know anything about rugby? Let me know. Who would you change? Who would you have in there? Who wouldn't you? I can't wait for the rugby championship to begin. Hit that subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.